Ambient Carl at the Wild Clover Brewery. Now they are going to take me through these four beautiful craft beers we have here. Hello guys. Morning. Morning. All right, so we are going to do a beer tasting. I'm very exciting. Um, I'm very excited. <laughs> Which one are we going to start with? We always start from that side. Okay. Um, like with wines again, from white wines to, to red wines. Same thing from the lighter beers to the heavier beers. Okay, right. so we're going to start that side. Uh, Carl will get going with the Eagle Weiss, which is the fruity Belgian wit. Right. Do you know how to taste beer? No, you should talk me through it. Okay. You know how to taste wine? <laughs> yes. It's uh, very similar. Um, again, you start with looking at the beer. Right, so, so you look at the color um, and then decide what you think about it. Um, and then I'm going to let's taste this one. As we go through, I'll talk about the other ways of tasting beer. So now first, great. just Smell? give it a good sniff. And it's very then, fruity. Yeah, well, you remember I said it's a fruity <laughs> belly. Yeah. So, right, and then, um, yeah, and then cheers. Great, then have a cheers. Sip. Yeah. Cheers. Mmm. That tastes like it would be good on a nice hot summer's day. <laughs> right, now let's go to the second one. Um, and this is now the crispy German Pulse. And as I said previously, you'll see that it's got a complete different taste from that one. This one actually got a bit of a honey undertone, um, bit of a sweeter character, um, which is very typical of a German, of a German Pulse. Right. It is much clearer and than yours, the You can see now the difference in color. Right. It's, it's bright, it's clear. And, um, and yeah, so there's a reason for that, because people, you know, a, a pulse that came ac actually from the little town, um, Pilsen in Czechoslovakia, and they find that because of the water there, they made this nice and, and bright beer, and then they called it Pilsner. And actually that's the only place that's supposed to call it a Pilsner, but because we make it in that style, we do it as well. But, but that is supposed to be bright, like you see there. Um, and then again, so if you look at the, if you look at the color, it's nice and bright. So it's again 100% for the color of the beer. And then um, he knows it. But also when you look at it, sorry, I just want to go back a little bit. Part of what you look at, you, you give it a little bit of a, of a swirl, okay. and you want to see those little bubbles inside ah, yes. the beer. That gives you indication of the carbonation of the beer. And you want to make sure that the carbonation level is perfect for a craft beer and craft beer again we don't over carbonate like by of like many of the commercial beers okay and that is a way of, of seeing what the carbonation is if you if you if you sniff it can, can you smell that honey yes honey and yeah. it's like a creamy caramelly sweet yeah. yeah and and we did don't didn't put any honey in this it's made purely with with that malted barley wow. so it's a combination of that that gives us this sort of honey honey taste I want to drink all of it, but, but, I, but I need to leave it here to compare. <laughs> totally different from the other one. It is. Okay. It's much sweeter yeah. and yeah. crisp, yes. Right. Okay, then let's move on to the next one. Okay. Which is now <coughs> the more darker style, so we'll also see on the color. Alright. Alright, so, so now we at the English brown L. Yeah. See the color. Again, look at it, nice and bright, mm -hmm. swell it, see the carbonation inside it, look at the head. Look at those, the foam on the sides, it's all marks of a good beer. And then again, you, you nose it. Now you get caramel ca character, more darker. You can see it's, it's mm. more mature tastes. Okay, and then we go to the taste. And this okay. is where the, where the big difference is. So you can see that, that you know, looking at the beer and smelling it, pretty much the same as wine. But in the taste is where the big difference comes in. And then the other thing is with wine, you take a small little sip. With beer, you want to have a mouthful. And we call it also the mouthful, the, 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 the mouthfeel is how we evaluate the beer. How's that? Mm, that's very good. Now, what would you pair a bitter beer with? Um, as I said earlier, what we do with this, we go to heavier foods, uh, you know, dark, gross, meaty type of food. Um, I think, you know, we've got a nice recipe from Carl, uh, Carl's wife, um, is doing a, a short rip, um, and that sort of style of food will go well with with this I prefer dark olives you know red olives it's extremely nice combination those olives in the beer so, so the last one is is a is a uh, smoky Irish porter and you'll see that it's got a lot of heat but it will absorb 
um, the carbonase and the CO2, it will absorb it again, and then it will end up with a nice creamy head on top of it, which we want in this beer. You can see it's a different way of dispensing it as well, so that we can get that nice creamy head, um, like people know of the dark beers of Ireland. Okay, if you know it, if you smell it, you immediately get that smokiness. Mm. Pick it up. Mm. Coffee, like coffee, yeah. Coffee, chocolate, those, those aromas. Um, this is what we're trying to do here. And also, as I said earlier, if we pair this with food, it goes very well with chocolate or then with a dessert. Um, we pour nice small glasses and serve it with a dessert, a nice hot chocolatey type of dessert. Well, I love dessert, so I think I'm going to love this one too. Okay, cheers. <laughs> nice. Mm, that's nice. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but you also see it's a little bit sweeter. I don't use... Um, aroma hops on this because I don't want to spoil the beer taste, the smokiness and the coffee and the chocolate with, with the hops aroma. Um, so it's lower on, on hops and as I said previously hops preserve a beer as well. So this is a very sensitive beer. We need to work very careful with this or it will, it will go off because it's not as preserved with hops as the other beers. Great, thank you both for that yeah. wonderful tasting. Yeah, you're welcome.